was in my hotel room directly below and saw the body fall through <laughs> looking out the window saw the body fall and obviously heard the aftermath and could see um, his body on the ground. We had multiple encounters with Liam. Uh, multiple times had come down to the lobby, was causing a disturbance, kept being escorted back up to his room. Um, there was an incident where he was smashing his laptop in the lobby. And then the final time he came back down, he actually passed out in the lobby of the hotel, um, started convulsing a little bit, and had to be physically taken back up to his room. And that was about five minutes before the eventual incident. Well, they did obtain a photo of Liam's body. I'm not going to post it on here, but it is confirmed to be Liam. You can see his tattoos even. There were also several witnesses at this hotel. It is not known whether this is accidental or intentional. Witnesses say this happened shortly after 5 p.m. Buenos Aires time and that Liam had been acting erratic in the hotel lobby earlier. He smashed his laptop and had to be carried back to his room. And at this time, it is unclear what triggered his erratic behavior. Police and other first responders are all around the hotel now and authorities have put up a red tent over his body as they begin their investigation into Liam's passing. Liam was in Argentina recently for a Neil Horan concert and the One Direction bandmates actually reunited at the show. My heart breaks for Liam, his family, and his friends. Multiple traumas as well as internal and external bleeding. This is a result from his fall from a hotel balcony last night in Argentina. And now we're hearing the frantic 911 calls made by the hotel manager. Audio obtained by the Associated Press revealing this 911 call by the hotel manager in Spanish, saying Payne had drugs and alcohol and was breaking everything in his room. The manager saying he was scared for Payne's life. Y necesitamos que nos envíen alguien urgente porque, bueno, yo no sé si corre riesgo la vida del huésped. Está en una habitación que tiene balcón y estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo. As well as internal and external bleeding. This is a result from his fall from a hotel balcony last night in Argentina. And now we're hearing the frantic 911 calls made by the hotel manager. Audio obtained by the Associated Press revealing this 911 call by the hotel manager in Spanish, saying Payne had drugs and alcohol and was breaking everything in his room. The manager saying he was scared for Payne's life. Y necesitamos que nos envíen alguien urgente porque, bueno, yo no sé si corre riesgo la vida del huésped. Está en una habitación que tiene balcón y estamos un poco con temor de que haga algo que le ponga antes. Payne had been in Argentina since early October when he went to his former One Direction bandmate Niall Horan's concert sharing this photo. He opened up about his sobriety and mental health last July, revealing he had been sober for six months after receiving treatment. It's good to be in this position. And yeah, I definitely don't need those things anymore. The party's over. Payne leaves behind his seven-year-old son, Bear. His family releasing a statement saying, we are heartbroken. Liam will forever live in our hearts and we'll remember him for his kind, funny, and brave soul. I feel like you're trying to make me say something rude. Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Liam, you're the best musician in the entire world. <laughs> in a mysterious incident surrounded by many questions, Argentina witnessed the last moments of the British singer, former member of the band One Direction. The puzzling question remains, what really happened that night? The death of Liam Payne, 31, sparked an outpouring of grief in the music world and beyond prompting his fans to organize memorial gatherings in his honor in several locations, including the Tuileries Garden in Paris. The Argentine police are continuing their investigations into the incident, and his father, who arrived in Buenos Aires at the beginning of the week, has been informed of the necessity of conducting an additional medical examination to determine the real causes of death. Details of the last days in Buenos Aires. Payne had arrived in Argentina in early October, 
to attend a concert by his former bandmate, Neil Horan, and some fans took pictures of him during the concert interacting enthusiastically as he appeared happy and in good condition. But things began to deteriorate after the departure of his girlfriend, Kate Cassidy, who was with him, was reportedly asked to leave the hotel after complaints about his disturbed behavior. What was Liam Payne doing in Argentina? On the second of this month, Liam attended a concert by his former colleague in the One Direction band, Niall Horan, which was held at Movistar Arena, a hall that accommodates 15,000 people and is located in the Villa Crespo neighborhood. The hall was opened in 2019 on land that belonged to a local football team. It is considered the largest concert hall in Buenos Aires and the second largest in the country. In a video clip that he posted on social media the day before the ceremony, Liam explained that he intends to meet his old friend, saying, We have a lot to talk about. Noella Veron, a local fan, spoke to People magazine, saying that she learned of his existence through the X platform. She said that she met him there and exchanged a few words with him before taking some souvenir photos with him. She added, When Niall started singing one of the One Direction songs, everyone turned to Liam, and he seemed to be having a good time. Another fan posted a video showing Liam speaking to the audience, and his girlfriend, influencer Kate Cassidy, can be seen in the background. There was no sign that drama was looming. In a mysterious incident surrounded by many questions, Argentina witnessed the last moments of the British singer, former member of the band One Direction. The puzzling question remains, what really happened that night? The death of Liam Payne, 31, sparked an outpouring of grief in the music world and beyond, prompting his fans to organize memorial gatherings in his honor in several locations, including the Tuileries Garden in Paris. The Argentine police are continuing their investigations into the incident, and his father, who arrived in Buenos Aires at the beginning of the week, has been informed of the necessity of conducting an additional medical examination to determine the real causes of death. Details of the last days in Buenos Aires. Payne had arrived in Argentina in early October to attend a concert by his former bandmate, Neil Horan, and some fans took pictures of him during the concert interacting enthusiastically as he appeared